Hey, so today I'm doing something really exciting. I'm at the Manchester Arndale Centre doing their vlog of Christmas edit. So I've been asked to go around the Arndale Centre and choose my favourite coat. So from the top, the kind of 10th coat on my pile, and it doesn't mean I don't like it because, as I said, I like them all. This is from Glamorous, which they stock in Arc, actually. Um, and I just really like it. I like the kind of suede kind of look, or would it be like sheep skinny? It's kind of like a big Ugg boot, so I feel like it will keep me really warm. I like the kind of shaggy hairs, and then I like how the sleeves are the same. I don't know, I just, sometimes I don't like too much fur, so I think this is nice because it just has like a fur collar, kind of a fur cuff, but look how warm it looks. I think I'd just never take this off if you like being sat next to a fire all the time. I just wanted to say as well that all of the jackets in this are fake fur, they're not real fur. I love animals. As you'll know if you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, I'm always like regramming pictures of cute bunnies and dogs, but yeah, this is all like fake synthetic fur, so don't worry. So this one's from New Look, and New Look's a shop that always shocks me because I, I never think I'm going to go to New Look and buy stuff, but every time I'm online or I do go in, I always really like everything. So this one's 39 99 from New Look, which is a really good price. It's such a good coat. I just, I really like grey. Grey's one of my favourite colours. It kind of goes with everything. At home, my bedroom's all kind of grey and white. I just think it complements everything. And I just love how kind of simple this is. I'm such a fan of just like a plain, simple, easy to wear coat. It's kind of military style in the sense that it's just straight and it will just look really nice with kind of tight jeans or over a dress. I really like that. My voice is totally going. <laughs> Thank you. It's so nice. So this is one from Next, and even though I said I didn't like the fur look too much, I think you can get to wear this because it's so different, it's not just kind of like block fur, it's just so nice, it's kind of, I like the way that the fur's flat, that sounds really weird, but it's like straight down fur rather than really fur, fur, straight down fur rather than kind of like in your face fur, you can get fur like that. I just think it's a really nice fit how it kind of hangs on the collar like this. And the colours are so nice, kind of more autumnal, but I don't know, I just really like this. I feel like it would look so good as like more of a bomber jacket with like jeans and stuff. I think I'm probably going to end up going and buying this one. Oops. <laughs> Thank you. I actually got a coat from Dorothy Perkins the other day. So I chose this one from Dorothy Perkins. My one is actually pink, but I love this. Obviously the dark colours go with absolutely everything. But oh my gosh, it's a fur collar. These were really in trend last year, actually. I remember Topshop had some really nice ones like this. But this one's a Dorothy Perkins one. 75 pounds, and it's just basically my dream coat. I just love kind of how you wouldn't need to wear a scarf with it because it's got such a long collar anyway. And I just love that fur detail to add something rather than it just being a plain jacket. And I'm such a fan, as you can probably tell, of like long line coats because otherwise they just get really cold. So yeah, this is definitely a winner for me. The Manchester Arndale has such a good next. I actually went in today and I was like, whoa, the home section's so good. I'm like obsessed with the home stuff in next. I'm such a like lover of interiors. But every single year for Christmas, my mum gets me loads of like next pajamas and stuff. And last year I actually got a onesie that was kind of this material. And now they do it in coat form. So I think this is kind of like a teddy style, kind of like a big shaggy dog, I guess. That sounds like you don't want to look like a big shaggy dog, but trust me, it's so warm and comfortable. This is like the perfect kind kind of New Year's Day kind of walk with the family coat to keep you really warm and there's loads of styles like this at the moment that are the kind of like shaggy fur kind of, is that how you, what you call it? I'm not sure, it's just like perfect kind of knit I guess it's like you wouldn't even need a jumper with this, I really like this and I love the colour, I love like neutral colours, they're not too offensive, they just kind of go with everything. This is only £50 as well which is really good because it's such good quality. Tr try bring my voice back, <laughs> it's wintry. <laughs> So this one's from Warehouse, and I actually think I need to start wearing warmer coats because as you can tell, my voice is going at the moment. It feels that England just got so cold recently, and I was not expecting this. I'm definitely a summer kind of girl, so I need to start wearing nicer, warmer coats so that my voice comes back. So this is from Warehouse. Warehouse is a shop that actually I never shop in, but when there's one in a shopping centre, I always go in, so it's great that there's one here. This is just, I actually chose this because of the colour. I love like winter whites. I think they're so nice for Christmas time. And I tend to always wear black. So when I can find a really nice cream or white coat, I really like it. Again, a long line fit, of course. Always going for long line fits. I just think this is so nice. Again, it's not just like plain boring fur. It's got kind of a bit of texture to it. I just really like this. It's probably not as thick as the Teddy one from next, but it's still very nice. And the colour kind of makes up for that. 
See, this one's from Dorothy Perkins, and I'm shocked that this is only £49. That's actually really good. This is another fur one. It seems that all the kind of shops have really nice fur coats at the moment, which is why I chose so much fur. Sorry if you're not like a kind of fur lover. There are some other coats in there, I promise, but they're a bit kind of higher up. Again, I chose this because of the colour. It's so nice. You can't go wrong with kind of a mint colour when it comes to Christmassy, winter time. Purely because it just brightens up kind of all the horrible dull colours. As, as much as I love wearing black all the time, it's sometimes nice to just kind of brighten things up. Like, I just think this is so gorgeous. It would look really nice if you kind of like a Christmas party dress. It would kind of really make an outfit look a bit more classy, I guess. It's just kind of quite dressy on me, which I really like. I love this one so much, this was actually, this was difficult because the next few I really wanted to rank them all as my number one. So this is kind of my dream style of coat. Again, it's long line, sorry about that. You can tell I really like long coats, which is weird because I'm only about five foot three, four, so I'm actually really small. So this would probably be way too long for me, but this is just gorgeous. I love kind of collars that drape over. I think it's casual, but smart at the same time. And I love how you can tie this. It's just, this is the kind of coat that you can kind of put with anything and make it look, you can kind of choose your look with this coat. I don't know, I just love it. And beige as well, my favorite color, so. This is really good. This is from River Island, actually. I've not had a coat from River Island in a long time, but River Island always make really good quality coats that last for a long time, so I really like this one. I'm way too short for long coats. <laughs> So I had to choose this one because I did some shopping at Topshop the other week and actually bought this. If you read my blog a lot, you'll know that this is literally my holy grail item. I've always wanted kind of a leather jacket from All Saints or somewhere like that. And I used to work in All Saints when I was younger, so I always thought All Saints were the best jackets ever when it comes to leather. But then I found this one in Topshop and it's real leather, it's unbelievable quality. In fact, I actually have mine down here. So I have mine with me and I literally never take it off. So this was £165, which sounds really expensive from Topshop, but it's their kind of boutique range. Yeah, it's their like exclusive, exclusive collection of luxury designs, and it's just like a staple piece. It's going to be in my wardrobe forever. It just kind of gets better in time. My own one actually kind of looks better than this one, because this one's new, but the more you wear it, it kind of moulds into your body. It's just the dream leather jacket, and I've made so many people buy this from my blog because I'm like, honestly, you need to buy it. You need it in your wardrobe. This is just my favourite jacket of all time. But I didn't want to put it as number one because I felt like that was cheating. So I think this is like number three on my list. It's honestly the best jacket ever. It's so good. Everyone compliments it. And then they're like, where's it from? And I'm like, top shop. <laughs> so this is my number one. And funnily enough, it's actually from All Saints. I actually tried this on and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. It's just the dream jacket. It's amazing quality. It's the beige colour, it's long line, it's got this kind of military kind of look to it, but it's still simple. It's kind of like the classic jacket that should be in any winter wardrobe, I guess. Autumn wardrobes as well. You could wear it open with a dress, you could wear it closed to keep you warm. It's just like the jacket that goes with everything. You know the one that you grab all the time and you're like, oh wow, my outfit looks perfect now. You could be wearing like a really simple outfit and then you put this on and you're like, I'm ready for the day now. So yeah, I've always loved all things and this one ranked. So that's my top jacket from the Manchester Arndale. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed joining me in the Manchester Arndale. I had so much fun, even though it's a bit cold in Manchester this weekend, so I definitely need some nice warm coats to keep me warm. Um, good luck with your Christmas shopping as well. Things are like manic at the moment because everyone's getting excited for shopping and Christmas, but I guess that's part of the fun. So I'm going to do some gift guides soon as well. So keep an eye out and hopefully I can help you more then. Thank you. Bye.